and hopefully it'll end fairly soon. It should end overnight tonight, yeah. um, but we still have a chance for a few flurries in the morning. So we've extended out our first alert action day in through tomorrow morning. It's also going to be very cold tonight with temperatures dropping into the teens, but for the next few hours, we'll mostly be in the 20s and we'll have the snow continuing 21 by 11 o'clock tonight, but our official overnight lows will be in the upper teens. Now, these are some of the 24 hour snowfall totals. Definitely um, Boulder, Jefferson County off the west and down into Douglas County, we had the heavier amounts of snow. The farther east you go, it was much lighter. So 11 inches in Boulder, you may have more or less at your house. Uh, these are just a few of the um, observations that were taken. Nine Point five in Genesee, seven in King Carroll, and six and a half in Lafayette, and only one point four at DIA. So we'll continue to have light snow in through tonight here for the Front Range. As I mentioned, our winter weather advisory extended until midnight tonight. We'll have temperatures in the teens for overnight lows. So anything that is wet out there is going to freeze into ice throughout tonight. So tomorrow morning, maybe a slippery commute. We'll have ice on the roads, and few flurries are possible as this storm is slowly but surely moving out of the state. So for the time being, we have snow here for the Front Range and down into southern Colorado. Not much snow up here to north, the northeastern part of the state, but uh, once again, that winter weather advisory extends from Boulder down toward Denver and uh, toward Colorado Springs, extends all the way down into southern Colorado. And you can see that we have the snow uh, here for all of the Front Range. Still snowing up toward Fort Collins, back toward Estes Park, and down here into Denver. We have a heavier batch of snow on the east side of town from Aurora toward Centennial, and it's pushing to the south. But our current wind chill factor makes it feel like it's 12 degrees in Denver right now, 15 in Broomfield, and 24 in Parker, 18 below the wind chill at Berthoud Pass. And so we're definitely feeling the colder air um, and the wind chill factor here across the Front Range and the Eastern Plains as the snow continues to come down. Temperatures are actually in the low to mid 20s here for our area, but tonight we'll have a low of 17 degrees with light snow that winter weather advisory in effect for Denver and all of the surrounding cities. And tomorrow morning we'll have 17 here in Denver for an overnight low, 16 in Aurora and about 20 in Fort Collins. And our temperatures will hover right around 30 degrees tomorrow afternoon. So like I mentioned, we'll have a chance for some snow in the morning and then we'll see clearing later in the day as the storm moves out. So highs for tomorrow will be in the upper 20s and low 30s here for the Front Range. We'll have 20s and 30s for the mountains and 40s for the western slope. Officially, we're expecting a high of 30 at DIA. We'll have those flurries in the morning, or at least the potential of it, very icy conditions, and then 30 degrees for that afternoon high. So we'll have light snow in through this morning, or tomorrow morning, <laughs> here for the Front Range, and then it clears out as we go into the afternoon. So that'll be about lunchtime tomorrow, clearing skies, and most of the entire state clearing out by the evening. And we'll look much better in through the rest of the week as we really warm things up. 49 by Tuesday as the sun is out, and sunny and warm on Wednesday with a high of 60. We'll be in the upper 50s for Thursday, and then right around 55 as we get toward Friday afternoon. 50s into next weekend with overnight lows in the upper 20s, but remember yesterday, Day, we were sitting at 58 for an afternoon yes. high. Mm -hmm. uh, so a couple of freezing cold <laughs> days, and then we're back at it again next week. Yeah. What a difference.